Pizza was today like? I have no idea. I've never been to one before. I've never been to a DRS open day before. Even though it's in my own town where I live. Well, I'm not from here, but I live here. So I do believe we're going to see the new uh, DRS loco. It'll be really, really cool to see people that are into trains and meet fellow YouTubers, maybe, possibly, even. I don't know. But first up, coffee. See you in a bit. Okay, hey guys. Right, we're on, um, is it Cresty Road? I think it's Cresty Road now.
hope to get a photo of this. Of course you can, yeah, if you want me out of the way. <laughs> it's sort of normally better if I'm out of the way. Oh, that's, that's fine. People tend to use them as dark practice. <laughs> It's the, it's the double stuff I just love, it's so classic. It was from 1938 to 1964, these were actually made. 13 to 64? Until um, Hornby's oh. packed up completely in Triang, and then Ren took them over here. Yeah. 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 It's all I did, it's uh, probably a childhood thing, really. Is there much of it left? <laughs> it's my, it's, it's, it's surprising, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an age related. It's an age related thing, so I'm, I'm 72 now and I had it when I was a kid. Oh, you don't like it. And so, that's that. pretty kind of you. <laughs> uh, the check's in the post, by the way. Um, but it, it's all coming out again now because of bereavements and even people who have had it for years and lost uh, have rediscovered it when they've been moving stuff around and found it. I had a dealer actually, I see in Doncaster, and he found all this pre war stuff, which I collect personally, and he didn't even know he had it. Really? Yeah, I bought the whole lot of them, yeah. yeah. Nice find actually. But yeah, it's, it's slowly coming back in the market here because of people just dying off. The families yeah. don't want this stuff now, do they? Well, I've got one or two couples with young children, sort of 10, 11, 12 year olds. They're actually buying them this stuff because, unlike modern stuff, you <laughs> feel that. Oh, it's well built. It's, it's a die cast body. Oh, they, can't, they can't break those. But they're 70 years old. They don't make them like that. Well, they certainly do. So <laughs> I do all the spares for them as well, so they're always going to run. Yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. I shall share that point to the streets. I mean, uh, obviously, the early ones are three rail. Yes. It was part of the central rail. The fifties towards the sixties, they changed over onto the two rail track with plastic wheels. More as before that, the metal wheels and all the road and stuff, as you can see on some of these. Oh. Ooh, those are pretty metal wheels, yeah. Wow. The same, the same as the old trick stuff was originally made in Germany. Yeah, the tin. tin all, the, all the early ones were tin, roof sides and chassis. And then when they started going to two rail, well, plastic chassis, uh, bogies rather than wheels, plastic roofs and the um, silver tin plate sides. And they started coming in the blue and white stripe as opposed to the blue and white stripe, the early ones. Yeah. All the original buildings were brought out in the 50s. Pre war, they were all made of wood. Some of the designs in wood and stone, yeah. There you go. Yeah. You want to it now? I do. It's fascinating. <laughs> which I'll be including in the video. Thank you, yeah. Okay.
I was at the volunteer at the Seven Valley Railway, I received a shirt as I'm in the diesel traction maintenance depot. <laughs> yeah. This is awesome. Have a good time. Don't you come down at that speed, it makes me up. Have you got up there? Ready? See you at the station now. Yeah, I'm going up to the station. I'll see you. Do you want to pass it down? Are you alright? Sure. Yeah, you come on. Cheers. Wait, did you go somewhere nice? Where did we go? Where did we go? Thank you. My mate. When we went through the top, stood up one, give it full power. Right round, do you think he said? Yeah. Sure, mate. Thanks, sir. Cheers. Oh, I wish you luck, mate. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Have a good day. Oh, look at this. Oh, you got to get a photo of me on here. I know. All right, take care. Have a good day. All right, lads. So what can you tell me about the, the class 37 and the cab of this 37? I mean... I can tell you what you need to know really, it's about 50, 55 years old. Seriously? Yeah, it has been modified, the gauges, the layout isn't exactly as it was when it was first built. Okay. But, um, they modified it because of um, drafts coming through and really? you know, cold stuff like that, so they made it slightly more modern. There's more leg room now than what it used to be years ago because of desks further forward. But essentially it's all the same instrumentation, it's all the same buttons. Yeah. The function's the same, but it is slightly better layout. Um, all the systems here are modified, you know, uh, uh, would not have done the vehicle when it was new. No, so no. these are radios for contacting the singular, safety systems. This is called a token block. They use that in the um, sort of north of Scotland for getting like remote lines and stuff uh, like that. So when was this, in, when was this fitted? This that's, that's sort of late 80s. Okay, okay. System. It's been? Same with that one. This is the latest technology system. This has been fitted in the last three or four years. Wow. It's a modern. Rather than using radio, which that is, it's like a basically a mobile phone but built into the low code. No way. So it's got more sort of features, it's got better coverage in the uh, radio system. But your power handle there, forward, reverse, and off. Engine only as well in the middle. So that's the basic, that's essentially a gear stick, which makes it. <laughs> so. Have you actually driven one of these? Oh, yeah, every day under the yard, yeah. That's not under the main line, but under the yard, yeah. We shut them down, we get the stuff in the shed, tape stuff out. Oh my so, gosh, because yeah. whenever I hear that sound just echoing around, yeah, through that distinctive. quite a distinctive sound, yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, all the instrumentation, which you'd expect um, brakes, speedo, all that sort of stuff. And two brake controllers there on the left. The ah. outer one, which you've got your hand on, does the locomotive and the train. So if you're pulling a huge rake of whatever, you... Yeah, you, you use the outer one, yeah. If you shunt in the yard, you just use a small one. It's got right. a lot more responsive, you know, it's not more. An AWS reset switch, what's this? Yeah, well, this is a singling system across the whole country. And as you're approaching a red or green or yellow single, you get an eligible word in the cab. And you have to reset to acknowledge. Not on a green, on a green you get a bell, which is up here. Uh, on a yellow or a red, you always get like a, a horn in the cab. It has to press that. If you didn't press it within seven seconds, the brakes come on. Oh my god. Additional safety system. That's brilliant. And the pedal where your foot is, the middle pedal. Yep. He has to keep his foot on that all the time. And every if he takes his foot off, the brakes come on. Or every 60 seconds he bleeps, you have to like take your foot off and put it back on again. Otherwise, the brakes really, yeah. So, several safety systems. So, if you as a driver, you obviously, you've got to be quite it becomes second nature, but there's a lot going on as well as looking where you're going. Gosh, that's just incredible, Martin. Honestly, I've never been in one of these before. <laughs> I can't believe you're even interested. <laughs> uh, so, what's your YouTube channel? Is that, yeah, is it's, that railway? YouTube, YouTube? It's all about modern railways with some. Uh, real stuff thrown in too, like heritage lines and stuff. It's Intercity 82. So, on our railways, and one main route is going to be a proud railway town. So, without further ado, and I really hope we don't pop this bit up, I am absolutely delighted to announce that Class 66 41 is now named Rescue Bridge. Okay, 
hey guys and welcome to a quick uh, vlog update at the DRS Open Day 2018. Um, we've just seen the naming of the Class 66 which has been named Cresty Road TMD, Traction Maintenance Depot, which is a really cool name. I've just had lunch, I've met loads of YouTubers. Um, I'll put all of your details in the video somewhere and I'll also put it in the description below. Um, still lots to see, there's a Class 57 naming ceremony coming up, the Thrash uh, little segment was good, lots of lovely class 37 um, clag there, that was really really nice. <laughs> and um, I shall get some more footage for you guys and carry on enjoying the day. Thank you. Yeah, why not? Got yeah. that, yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah. Fantastic. What? Yes, thank you, yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah. Back, actually. Just wanted to do it. Do you want to do it? Yeah, and Jen. Yeah. 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 Ah, yeah. good for the third well, we go. <laughs> well, for those of you who don't know, Joe told me. These are the appreciation yeah. of Model Railway YouTube Community Group. It's a group on Facebook bringing all you Model Railway community members together from all areas of social media. If anyone in the Model Railway world wants to join, please feel free. Model Railway YouTube Community Group, MRYCG. Thank you very much. So, so the rest of the chat over with the camera, just get all the actual group members uh, here together. I know some of you could actually add cameras yourselves and take your pictures. Oh, I'll go down here then. Well <laughs> done. Are we done? Yeah. 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 Y
Oh, okay. Okay. Cool Kasachi shirt that we're going to be rolling out hopefully. I like it, it's really good. Nice and colourful. Go have a 68 yeah. in there as well, innit? Oh, <laughs> oh times you go back to work next week, we'll like it. The orders will be flooding in, Jack. And also, if you do pop over to Valley Buck, I do have a 6801 on Valley L. Which I kind of need to I bought it for £7.50 in the store. But now it's called Project Zero. Okay. He's going no gauge. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. No uh, gauge like her gauge. No, that's the kind of work. Bullshit. Oh my god. No, no, no. It's quite heavy, so put your case <laughs> Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah. Even even doing the colouring on the roof where the uh, fiberglass roof is and the dirt gets underneath it. That kind is of beautiful. Effect, right, let's get a review done right now. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Now, four articles so far. That's wow. one was three pages. Yes. We did. Been doing a so we met Steve Holland, don't we? Yeah. Well, we no, Steve Holland. Steve Holland. Yeah. Steve Holland. Yeah. Right. Kingsford Junction. Kingsford Junction. Yeah, I've not really got many updates. It's slowly <laughs> coming along over the last five years. I'm not free. Yeah, but, uh, it's fine. But I've seen your tan. I like the way it goes around the floor. Ah, okay. <laughs> that's the old one. You should see it. It's got lots of new stuff going on. Oh, okay. Really good, yeah. Yeah. So we have Joe in the back there. He's Joe. Dudley Central. Joe, that's Dudley Central. What's that? Uh, Dudley Central. Dudley Central. Yeah, I bought my HST based on your very first Seriously? video. Seriously? Yeah, awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on. That's <laughs> brilliant. Wow. Right, uh, I think right. it's local, oh, yes, naming time. Go, yeah. local naming time. We've got three minutes to get ourselves over to the right. seven and see if Jack is going to be right. Yeah. See if he's coming to the door. Yeah, I've got a long way to go. Look for the shack. Yeah, sure. John Scott. Or Scotty. Okay, thank you very much. Hey peeps, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment, please give it a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.